Hi, my name is Nadifa Mohammed, and I'm the author of The Orchard of Lost Souls. I left Somalia just two years before the Civil War began, so despite living in safety in the UK, we were very aware of the fact that my, all of our family was still there and having to experience the war in refugee camps themselves. So despite growing up in London and then studying history and politics at, at Oxford University, I felt as if a part of me was still there. And by writing this novel, actually, I was able to examine what I, what I personally lost in that war. My grandmother and um, her orchard and all of the small things that I can't get back, as well as the people that I loved. The Orchard of Lost Souls is set in northern Somalia in 1987, in the city of my birth, Hargeisa. It follows the story of three women who are brought together by accident and it follows their lives as the, the country begins to descend into civil war. I think I see myself in, all, in elements of all three of the characters, but it's Kausa really that grabs me and I see a reflection of who I am, which is strange actually because she's the eldest and has the, you know, she's lived this very different life to mine. But there's a dreaminess to her and I like, I think I, there's, a, there's a subdued sense of humour in her that she shares with her friend Dahabo and that's similar to my sense of humour. And I just, I wish that she could have had a different life. I really feel a bond with her. Yes, I absolutely feel that the characters live on. I think that Kaus always existed even before I was thinking about this book. You know, she appeared just there, you know, as if she was waiting for me. And with Filson and Dergo, I'm intrigued as to where they are now. I'm sure they would have migrated. I'm sure they'd be here somewhere or be, you know, people I could meet on the streets of London. The Orchard of Lost Souls is out now in hardback and ebook. book <laughs>